Good morning, folks. This article discusses the effect of ultraviolet radiation on marine life, but what I take away more is their observation of ultra-high levels since the 70s, mostly in the southern hemisphere. Now, polar region frozen stratospheric layers make CFCs eat the ozone faster at the poles, but there's no reason the South Pole should be getting hit harder. Seems like, if anything, CFCs should be a northern hemisphere issue. What if the radiation's pounding the South harder for another reason? Remember the Greenland ice sheet story? Massive surface melting over a four-day stretch. Well, there's more than one of you out there with eyes open suggesting that these giant cosmic ray fluctuations from the day before might not have been a data error like I thought. I could have been wrong about this one. Just a quick drought update here. We all know how bad this is. As always, check Torcon around lunchtime to see if severe weather's coming your way. It was dead on yesterday as wild weather hit Pennsylvania and New York the hardest after it was spawned over Indiana and Ohio. It's another case of pop-up thunderstorms that the experts are blaming on evaporation. Isolated. Over land. This is a kick in the teeth. Mass fish die-off, toxic algae in Western Australia. Malaysia, mass fish die-off, algae and pollution. Washington State, cyanobacteria detected in the water, and that same blue-green algae watch in Kansas got bumped up an alert level. The best news of the day, after the quake watch appeared to be really revving up like crazy yesterday, I'm happy to say that the scariest quake we've had since then is a 4.7 in Guatemala. Let's all hope that those three mid-six pointers is all we get. Active regions. Remember the danger is big spots with little friends, especially if they are complex magnetics. Now you remember the blue is positive, red is negative. You can see the separation of blue here, red in between. This wants to be beta gamma. You can just see it. This guy back here can take its time turning. Many sunspots, polarity spread jumbled up. We don't need that facing Earth. I told you yesterday the flare drought couldn't last with these sunspots. She's ramping up slowly, beginning to pop sea flares. More to come. Fluxgate magnetometer is quiet. The VHF Rio meter, solar plasma is being blocked as the red stays subdued. The yellow solar wind speed dropping still so much so that the protons are bunching up a bit. You can see the orange density rising slightly. Same thing here on Soho's data. Velocity on top going down. Particle level slightly elevated at the end. That large prominence ripped off the sun a few hours ago. This is why you watch plasma filaments. You can see those active regions we looked at a bit ago turning in on the bottom left. That's the sun's southeastern limb. And as you can see, it is now right of center. That dark coronal hole has faced Earth and set her powerful stream on its way. You can expect impact tonight or tomorrow. Watch for auroras and magnetic storms right when Mercury conjoins the sun. Quake watch continues, but let's hope we saw all she's got. That's the news, folks. Be safe.